Early today, several districts of the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, were targeted by a massive Russian attack. The strikes also hit a children's hospital. Tetiana, mother of young Edri, a little girl who was being treated at Kiev's children's hospital when it was hit by a Russian missile, ran out of the building holding tight onto Edri, her catheter still in place. <laughs> We came here to the hospital five minutes before it all happened. We managed to get to the pediatric ward. I do not know. It is a nightmare. I do not even know if it was a missile hit or fragments of a missile. My wife has come here. She drove here. Then it all started. My son began crying, so she did not go to the hospital. She ran to the bomb shelter instead. Then there was an explosion. The car is no more. But we are all OK. There was not enough time for the baby to get scared. But you see what's going on here. No words, even swear words, can describe it. But what matters most is that they are alive. Never mind the car. We will buy a better one. All will be fine. A powerful explosion in the Lukyanivka district seriously damaged a business centre, several residential buildings nearby and part of a street market. Resident Tetiana Shevchenko was in her car during the strike, which was followed by several explosions. <laughs> When the first explosion happened, the car just stopped. It must have happened somehow automatically. It just stopped. After a few, two or five seconds, another explosion happened. I barely managed to find my phone. After five seconds, there was another explosion, and we started running. There were no more explosions after that. There were fragments falling down everywhere, and people were running towards the underpass. Fruit seller Tetiana Testenko was hit by a piece of timber. I was hit by a piece of timber. I threw it aside and when there was another explosion I went to shelter at the underpass. I went down and then I came back. The area, situated in the vicinity of the Artem plant, a manufacturer of aviation equipment, has been a frequent target of Russian missile attacks in the past few months. Russia rained missiles down on cities across Ukraine in broad daylight on Monday, killing at least 36 civilians and badly damaging Kiev's main children's hospital. In the deadliest airstrike in months, officials said. Air defences shot down 30 out of 38 incoming missiles, the Air Force said. 50 civilian buildings, including residential buildings, a business centre and two medical facilities were damaged in Kiev. The central cities of Kriviri, and Dnipro and two eastern cities. Meanwhile, Zelensky arrived in Washington earlier today to sign an agreement on security cooperation and discuss their expectations ahead of a NATO summit in Washington. Zelensky had a moment of silence during a news conference with Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk in Warsaw. As of now, we know of 27 people killed in this strike. I would like to ask for, and I thank for this opportunity, I would like to ask everyone present to pay tribute to the victims with a minutes of silence. During the news conference, Zelensky called on Kiev's allies to give a firm response to Monday's attack. The president said Ukraine was waiting for concrete steps from its Western partners to strengthen its air defences and protect its energy sector. He said Kiev was initiating an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council in connection with the Russian attack. Zelensky also met Polish President Andrzej Duda.